Hello. Hello. For my SRP presentation, I decided to show you a dissection because they typically have a lot of dissections in medical school and surgery is just like a big dissection where you try and not mess everything up. I couldn't come up with any human subjects because no one seemed to want to volunteer and therefore I ended up with the next best thing which is, you guessed it, a fish that I found at an Asian market. Our necessary instruments are these forcep hemostat, that would be the correct name for it. These are surgical pins. This is a scaffold, it's a one very, very sharp knife and it cuts really deep. So I would try and keep this away from you. Our standard regular scissors. And this is, it's good for pointing in poking stuff, a dissecting forcep. Now if I was in a surgery, I would have about 10 to 15 more different instruments, different sizes of knives, more pins. And now that we have everything ready, including our really smelly fish, but before we start, we shall have to, voila, put on some gloves. Oh wait, before we do that, we have to wash our hands. Okay, to wash our hands, we need a sink. So, ta-da, we got a sink. And we need soap, plus it's apple scented. Yay. Look, those bubbles. You gotta soap your hands for 20 seconds. That is exactly long enough to sing happy birthday. No, I'm not gonna sing happy birthday for you. But my cameraman will. Oh, excuse me, camera woman. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. You. Happy birthday to you. There you go. Now we try it, but with a way better looking towel, that's for sure. It's super hot. And now we shall put on our fancy dandy gloves. Make sure you keep track of all of the dissecting instruments, always. Okay, we shall start. Wow, this fish is a real stinker. By the way, we got the fins right here, and we got the really bad looking tail right over here. This is not working out well. Open fish, open. Yuck. Okay, we're gonna stick the pins right in here to keep it open, hopefully. Aren't you glad that I didn't bring this to class? This long thing is the gallbladder. Unfortunately, it collapsed, therefore you cannot actually see what's in it. It's the stomach. And see what's in there. What did this fish eat? Okay, this fish ate some really gooey stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like to you guys, but... Wow. Seeds. You know, the stuff that they fish, they feed the fish. Is the liver. It detoxicates the fish. Okay, these are the ribs. They're right here. This is one very bad looking fish. Wouldn't you agree? These are our gills. They have this feathery thing right here. Yeah, that thing. This is the spine. Leads out to the tail. Fish have a two chamber heart. We humans have four. But fish have the same kind of stomach that we do. So the same track right here. Oh, I found the heart. The heart? Yay. Okay, that's not a heart. False alarm, everyone. False alarm. The heart seems to be missing. The lungs are fuzzy and they are lined with this fuzzy stuff. I think this fish was grown on a farm because the inside of it is really deteriorated and I suppose the nutrition wasn't that good. It's bred for meat. Everything is brown, not much of anything else. There are about 10 flies around me and they won't leave me alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Regardless of that, we have not found much in this fish. It's really deteriorated inside. Therefore, I must conclude this dissection a fail. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, and look at my gloves. Surgery is obviously going to be a very messy job. I also have to show you how to take off gloves. <laughs> These are quite a mess. 
you always start with your right hand. You would pinch yourself here. You pull off the glove and it goes like that. Next, you do your second hand. You try, do not touch the glove. You put your hands under here and just pull it off. Hands are clean. I have no fish on me. They don't even smell that bad. She stinks. <laughs> the following video clip has been brought to you by Fish Productions.